Hi, hello. Today we are going to be talking about the item printer. I know a bunch of people made YouTube videos about this, but there's a couple things they did not cover that I wanted to cover in today's video, especially with the upcoming event that is happening this weekend. Before we get to the upcoming events and, and go over why that is important, let's go over how to upgrade the item printer and what the actual upgrades mean here. So when you first get the item printer, it will cost you five BP per item to do a print job. Although on the item printer, you can press L or R to increase the amount of BP. When you upgrade it to great, that will only cost four, four BP. And then when you upgrade it to ultra, it will cost three BP. Master is also three BP. So unfortunately there is no two BP discount. Most people here are going to just do 10 print jobs at a time, which if you stay in standard, that is 50 BP per print job, great 40 BP, and then ultra and master are 30 BP. But when you get to great rank, it will have a special bonus of a chance to increase the item drops. And in order to get to great, you will have to spend 200 BP to upgrade the machine, but you will have to run the item printer 25 times, which is just three 10 print jobs in order to do. And then once you get to great, that will be a 2% item bonus chance. So once you unlock the item drop times two, you will have a 2% item bonus per print. But because most people are running 10 print jobs at a time, you can do the math there of you're just increasing your chance and your RNG for that. When you get to ultra, you will unlock the thing that everyone has been talking about and the thing that keeps the players coming back to this machine, which is the Pokeball Loto. In order to get from great to ultra, you will need to do 75 prints, which is ultimately just run the machine eight times of 10 print jobs and then spend 500 BP to upgrade. And that will give you that 1% Pokeball bonus. And again, because people are running the print jobs at 10, that 1% bonus makes more sense when you're only one running one print job, almost everyone, and I don't know why you wouldn't, would be running 10 print jobs at 30 BP, increasing your chance to see Pokeball Loto more often. And then if you haven't beaten the game yet and you're curious of why you can't get to master rank on the item printer, it's because you need to finish the DLC and catch the final legendary Pokemon of Terrapagos, which is shouldn't be, I have been trying to keep my content spoiler free, but that shouldn't be a surprise that the legendary Pokemon on the cover of the Indigo disc that they've been showing off for several months is the Pokemon that you end up catching. But on top of spending 1000 BP to upgrade to the Master Ball and catching Terrapagos, you also have to do 175 print jobs, which is using the machine 18 times, assuming that you are always printing 10. Now, I did see some people say they didn't want to upgrade to the master rank because they didn't want the stellar terra shards to take away from the pokeball loto and that's not how that works the pokeball loto is a separate bonus that rolls by upgrading the master ball you are adding stellar terra shards to your normal item drops but the machine will run pokeball loto separately with that one percent chance every time you run a print job but again reminding you that you're running 10 print jobs at a time and that's why you're probably getting pokeball bonus more often if you're specifically looking for the Pokeball Loto with 10 print jobs at either Ultra or Master Rank, there is a nine, about a 9% chance to trigger that. So within a 10 or 11 times of running it, it should happen. Of course, RNG is RNG. You could get it three times back to back. You could get it um, one time in 20 encounters. Statistically, it's about a 9% chance to activate the Pokeball Loto. And when you use the Pokeball Loto, you're looking for the rainbow colors. The rarest Pokeball in Pokeball Loto is going to be the Master Ball, which is slightly shy of 1% at about 0.75%. And then your Safari Ball is going to be about 1.75%. And your Sports Ball is going to be also 1.75%. Pretty much Sports Ball, Dream Ball, Beast Ball are all 1.75% chance of happening once the Pokeball Loto triggers. These Pokeballs don't appear in the normal usage of the item printer. You have to wait for that colorful thing to pop up for your chances for that to happen. And then the Master Ball being the, ram the rarest. Now, if we scroll through the item printer, you can see that all of these different Pokemon have different percentages. And that will add to the required materials that you need, which is going to be a thousand percent for 10 prints. You can see that some Pokemon offer more. Scatterbug is only offering 9%. 
whereas Larvesta is offering 95%. You could specifically hunt certain Pokemon to come back to this machine and do it. It's a really cool cycle that Pokemon has introduced because normally you would only use these ingredients for TMs, but if you're not a competitive player and you're somebody who likes to catch, now you have a reason to use these. Vice versa, if you are a competitive player and you don't really care about Pokeballs, you can continue using your Pokemon guts to make TMs. While I think TMs should still be unlimited, I, I understand that Pokemon wants to have an economy, so we keep coming back to the game over and over. And we go out in the battle, the battle wild Pokemon, to then come back here to spend, to go back and catch wild Pokemon. Uh, it's a very common thing in video games. But uh, I want to point out some percentages here. So I believe Happini is the highest here at 68%, but Happini almost always requires you to make a sandwich in order to get which is, again, part of that loophole of, or part of that cycle of make the sandwich, do this thing, knock out these Pokemon, come back here, print your items, sell the nuggets or bottle caps or use the bottle caps and come back over and over again, right? But the thing I actually want to talk about is this specific weekend from December 22nd through December 24th in, in all areas of the game, Paldea, Kitakami, and the Terrarium. There will be a mass outbreak event for Delibird. And if we find Delibird here on the list, Delibird offers 54% in the item printer, which means we would only need to knock out or we would only need to get 19 Delibird feet in order to run the machine. Uh, compared to Happini, which has a higher percentage, that's about 15 Happini hearts, but uh, 19 Delibird livers will get us there as well. So this is the thing that I really wanted to focus on near the end of this video, is that these events will be coming. Even if, even if you don't need the shiny for Delibird, I still think it's worth it. Use the Let's Go feature to knock out Delibird this weekend, or to turn into a Pokemon with the Synchro ma Machine and knock out a bunch of Delibird, just because it's 54%. Um, and if you just want to come here to grind Master Balls or Beast Balls or Dream Balls or whatever, or just money, um, I think... I think this weekend is a really, really great event. And then following the Deli Bird event is the New Year's Outbreak, which is going to be Dratini in Paldea, Jangma O in Kitakami, and Duraladon in Duraladon in the Blueberry Academy. So Dratini is worth about 45%, not as much as Deli Bird. Duraladon is worth 54%, so better than Dratini. And I believe, I'm pretty sure Deli Bird was also 54%. Another Pokemon actually maybe worth focusing on, even if you don't need the shiny, just to knock out some for this machine. Uh, if you need Jagma O, Lungs, 45%, so the same as Dratini. So out of the three Pokemon for the event following Deli Bird, Jagma O, Dratini, and Duraladon, uh, Duraladon is going to probably be the one to focus on there too. And I would also say, like, maybe you're a player that's kind of on the fence of, like, you don't know which Pokemon you should shiny hunt next. You should come to this machine and see. Uh, or if there's an outbreak that's happening and you're trying to decide between two outbreaks, you can come to this machine and you can see that you can see that Oathworm eyeballs are worth more than Tandem Mouse pants. Maybe you hunt Oathworm because it's worth 45% versus Tandem Mouse. Just something to keep in mind that different Pokemon are worth different percentages. And when you see a Pokemon like Bombardier being worth 45% and you see a Bombardier outbreak, it might just be worth doing the outbreak, uh, but not needing to like pop any sandwiches or anything. Just like knock out a bunch of Bombardier. If a shiny poke pops up, awesome, great. If it doesn't, it's still worth it because, because Bombardier drumsticks are worth 45%. I hope that gives you a better concept about how the item printer is working and how you can use it to your advantage. And if you have any questions or comments below, feel free to... Leave a comment or maybe just leave a comment because it's really helpful for engagement for YouTube and all that stuff like comment, subscribe. Uh, but hopefully you found this video helpful and I will see you guys next time.